Hello guys, my name is Deep Shring Lepcha. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Cisco ACS version 5.8 in VMware Workstation environment. Uh, we are actually doing this for AAA authentication. That means we are going to uh, use TACAX server for authentication, authorization and accounting. So just click on VMware Workstation icon. It's going to open up the VMware workstation environment just click on file click on new virtual machine tab there click on custom click on next let it be as the default click on next click on next again make sure that it's uh, clicked on Linux ready button and select the OS version as sent OS 7 64 bit of operating system just click on next uh, I'm going to rename my file as ACS and ACS-11 and it's going to actually be seen over here after our initial configuration for virtual machine. Click on next. I'm going to select logical cores uh, processor that means two of my logical cores will be uh, utilized by ACS. In this laptop it's a core i7 having four cores and I'm going to actually use two cores of, from that click on next minimum uh, RAM requirements would be 4096 that means I'm going to use 4 GB RAM from my system I've got 16 GB of RAM installed in my laptop so I'm going to use 4 GB for ACS deployment click on next click on next let it be as the default click on next click on next again click on next there the uh, hard disk requirement would be minimum 60 GB of hard disk requirement so I just took it 60 from my um, installed hard disk within my laptop the size uh, of my laptop hard disk is 320 GB so I'm going to use 60 GB from that uh, internal hard disk click on next this is my file name it's going to be installed in C drive click on next there you can see the summary installation um, configuration that uh, you have actually done for your ACS 5.8 there you can see 60 GB of your hard disk size your RAM size is 4 GB your network adapter is set to NAT that means network address translation and uh, other devices such as our CPU cores we are going to use two cores of our core i7 um, that is installed in our laptop so NAT. I'm going to change this adapter uh, NAT from host only because uh, we are actually going to uh, deploy it in GNS3 environment. So I'm going to use the internal network. So go to customize hardware and there you can see the network adapter is NAT. Go to custom specific virtual network and then come down to VMNet1 host only adapter. Click on close. There it's uh, it has been changed to vmnet.1 it's done just click on finish after completing uh, this step uh, there you can see our ACS ACS 11 so what I'm going to do is I have to install operating system over here so just right click on it and go to settings and uh, just click on CD DVD auto detect uh, I'm going to manually choose my ISO file from my Desk. So use ISO image file, browse it, uh, just click on C drive, work and my OS images are over here, 5.8, just click on it and uh, it's done, just click on OK and there it's actually selected from C drive. So when I right click on it and power it on, it's going to start installation so I click on it it's going to install our ACS 5.8 there you can see the options are over here so we are going to uh, select the option number one so just hit on one there you can see and just hit enter I'm going to skip the installation it will take some time so just bear with me and we're going to come back again for initial configuration for your ACS 5.8 so just bear with me file has been copied and installation is done it's going to reboot on its own 
and after reboot we are going to set up our configuration and do our initial configuration just bear with me there you can see our operating system is getting started and uh, here we are for our initial configuration uh, there you can see please type set up to configure the app appliance so that means you have got no username and password so local host login over there you just type set up and it's going to start up your configuration and one by one step by step we're going to do initial configuration as setting up our host name setting up up our password your IP address subnet mask and all kind of stuff and uh, we're going to continue it on the next video thanks for watching guys